Let me tell you about how I first started investing in the gigantic mistake that I made. My first real job was working at McDonald's and as soon as I got my first paycheck, my dad took me to the bank and helped me set up an automatic contribution to a mutual fund. That wasn't the mistake, that was brilliant on his part. Every paycheck, $50 went into this account and when they asked me what fund I wanted to invest in, I just looked up last year's best performing fund and said, give me that one. Who on earth would take anything but last year's best performing fund? <laughs> now, side note, many years later, I actually ended up being a stockbroker. And I met the manager of that fund during a branch presentation. And I think we would both agree that picking such a narrowly focused fund for the entirety of one's portfolio is very ill-advised. But listen, I was 15 years old at the time. I didn't know anything about investing other than I want to invest and make my money grow. And I know I'm not the only one who starts their investing journey just like that. Now, it took me years after that to really learn the proper way to build an investment portfolio. And that is the reason for today's video. BMO Investor Line hired me to create two video courses for investors. And I think they, along with many subscribers on this channel, were probably wondering just how long it was going to take me to finish my Learn About Investing series on this channel. So they said, hey, can we pay you to produce two courses that we host for free for anyone to watch? And here we are. So that first course is available right now and is for absolute beginners. There are 18 videos in the first course and they break down the absolute basics like what is a stock? What is a bond? What is an exchange traded fund? How do you actually place a trade? And it includes a video walkthrough of me actually placing a trade on the platform. And I know that is one of the biggest hurdles for those who are on the fence about starting to invest. That first step in investing can feel intimidating because this isn't something that we teach well in society. Now, that being said, if you don't want to place your own trades, you can also learn about the varying levels of portfolio assistance you can get from using all-in-one asset allocation ETFs. And it's okay if you don't know what that means, the course explains it using robo advisors and much more. It also talks about what type of account to open when you start investing. We profile some investment legends like Warren Buffett and John Bogle to see what they can teach us about being a more successful investor. We also go through some market history to reflect on what risk looks like when it comes to investing. So this first course is both for people who feel like they want to start but don't know how to get started or don't have the confidence yet. And it's also for people who have already started but feel like there are some gaps in their understanding of the basics. So we'll go over why costs matter, active versus passive investing, how you adjust the risk level of your portfolio so that you're comfortable with it. And we also provide a glossary of terms with explanations. So this first course, again, is designed to increase your knowledge of the basics so that you can be a more confident investor whether you are going to do things yourself or if you're going to delegate to varying degrees to other services or people. Now, I'll tell you right now that in my experience, what type of investor and what type of investment strategies you use when you start is going to change over time. Personally, I think low cost index investing is the way to go for most people because it's hands off. It's low cost. You don't have to, nor should you check your portfolio or the business news on a regular basis. And if you stick to the strategy, you will outperform most investors, but it's not sexy. And I know that for a lot of people, they do want to roll up their sleeves a little bit and pick stocks. And maybe you got tempted into starting investing because of meme stocks, or you only own one stock like Tesla because you just like the company, but you may not have a real plan for your portfolio. And we've seen that be the case in the last few years, especially there's been an absolute explosion in new account openings at all discount brokerages. And at the same time, there are lots of people who are wondering, OK, I started by buying one or two stocks. Now, what do I do? The second course, which will likely be published in maybe a month from now, goes a bit deeper. There are 32 videos in that course, and it's really about completing your first portfolio. For example, maybe you've decided to be a dividend investor. We'll talk about how you could use ETFs for international and emerging markets exposure to diversify geographically. We're seeing lots of stories in the media about margin accounts and options trading by new investors. So there is a section that explains what margin is, what a margin call is, 
how options work, and how both magnify the possible returns and risk you are exposed to. I really emphasize minimizing making common mistakes that many investors, myself included, made when starting investing. I'll include the link in the description below for where the courses will be. And again, the first course is available now. There is no cost to you. You don't have to have an account with BMO Investor Line. And the second course, the more advanced course, is coming very soon. I just finished video 19 this morning out of 32 in that series. So in total, you're going to have 50 videos as part of these two courses. They are all written by me, produced by my company. And I'll point out that all 50 videos are also available in French. So it's actually 100 videos. And I will continue to produce more videos as well, including videos on investing, both basic and more advanced concepts. If you leave your question about investing in the comment section down below, I may turn your question into a video for everyone. So please let me know what are your big or small questions about investing and put those down in the comment section down below. If you would like more videos on all things personal finance and investing, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.